The next morning, when Thomas woke up, he knew exactly what to do. Thomas puffed across the island. He was looking for Mavis. Mavis wasn't like the other diesel engines. She was kind. Thomas knew she would help him with his plan. Thomas needs to find Mavis quickly, but he doesn't know where she is. How can Thomas find Mavis? Mavis's horn doesn't sound like anyone else's. Perhaps that will help Thomas to find her. Will you help Thomas listen for Mavis's horn? Thomas is wondering where to look first. Where does Mavis work? That's right, the quarry. Let's listen with Thomas and see if Mavis is here. Did that sound like Mavis's horn? No, that was a whistle. Percy's whistle. Thomas will have to look somewhere else. Perhaps Mavis is collecting something at Brendam Docks. Why don't you listen with Thomas again to see if she's here? Did that sound like Mavis's horn? You're right. It was a horn, but not Mavis's horn. It was Salty's horn. Thomas will have to look somewhere else. Maybe Mavis is having a washdown. Listen with Thomas. Did that sound like Mavis's horn? Yes, you're right. That did sound like Mavis's horn. But this doesn't look like Mavis. But only because she was covered in soap suds. Thomas has found Mavis, but he couldn't have done it without your help. Thomas told Mavis all about his plan. Thomas wanted the steam engines and the diesels to work together. Mavis agreed. It's the only way to get the airport open. But how will we get all of the engines to work together? Asked Thomas. First, we all need to talk to each other, said Mavis. Then Thomas had an idea. Let's have a big meeting with all of the engines at the coaling plant tomorrow, he puffed. Thomas and Mavis went to see the other engines to tell them all about the meeting. Thomas told Percy. Then Jane. Then Emily. Mavis told Diesel. Then Harry. Then Bert. Soon all of the engines on the island knew about the meeting. All of the engines except one. Thomas wanted to tell Diesel 10 about the meeting. As he got closer and closer, Thomas got frightened and he puffed quickly away. He was sure Diesel Tam would never work with the Steamies anyway. Thomas had told the engines about the meeting, but it had taken a very long time. Thomas was too tired to go back to Emily's sheds. So that night, Thomas slept outside. He pulled slowly into a siding. The forest was dark, but Thomas's lantern shone brightly. Thomas wanted to tell someone about his adventures that day, but he only had an owl for company. Emily wondered where Thomas was. He must be staying with Percy, she puffed. Emily was pleased she had the shed to herself again. But without Thomas, it seemed a little too quiet. She missed hearing all about the day. She even missed the sound of Thomas's sleep whistle. The next morning, all of the 
engines went to the coaling plant. was surprised. Why are all the engines here at the same time? He wondered. So he went to telephone the Fat Controller. The Fat Controller was sitting down to eat his cream bun, but then the telephone rang. The plant manager told him all about the engines. I'll be there at once, said the Fat Controller. The engines were waiting to start the meeting, but Thomas was missing. I'm sure he will be here soon, said Mavis. Thomas was racing through the countryside. He puffed as fast as he could. But he had a long way to go. Must get to the coaling plant, must get to the coaling plant, panted Thomas. The diesel engines didn't want to wait for Thomas. Trust us, Stevie, to be late grumbled Harry. This old mess is the Stevie's fault, Rouch Bert. No, it's not, Percy huffed crossly. The diesel engine started it. This made the diesels cross. Maybe we should teach the Stevies a lesson, said Harry. Thomas finally puffed into the coaling plant. He blew his whistle and all of the engines went quiet. Steamies and diesels need to work together, chuffed Thomas. We don't want to work with stinky steamies, oil diesel. We don't want to work with dirty diesels either, puffed James. If the airport doesn't open, it will be bad for all the engines, puffed Thomas. Both steam engines and diesel engines need passengers and freight to be useful. All of the engines agreed. They knew that Thomas was right, and they all wanted the airport to open. Then, Harold the helicopter arrived. He had brought the fat controller to the coaling plant. Why are you all here? The fat controller asked. Thomas told the fat controller all about the meeting. We're going to work together, puffed Thomas and get the airport open on time. The Fat Controller was delighted. <sighs> Thomas knows there is a lot to do. But if the steam engines and diesel engines work together, they can get the job done. There are jobs for the engines all over Sodor. Different engines are good at different things. Can you help Thomas decide which steam engine should work with which diesel engine? These workmen need to finish painting the Sodor suspension bridge, but the paint is still at the yard. Two engines need to go and collect it. The yard has a very tight bend. Mavis is short and can go around tight bends. She needs a short steam engine to help her. Which steam engine do you think should help her? What about Gordon and Henry? Are they short? No, they are very long. Who else could help Mavis? What about Percy? Is he shorter than Gordon? Yes. Is, so he can shunt trucks around tight bends too. Well done. Percy can help Mavis collect the paint and take it to the workmen. One steam engine and one diesel engine working together. These workmen all need to be taken to the airport. There are lots of them. 
so we will need some help. Which diesel engine do you think could help him? What about Harry and Bert? Do they take passengers? No, Harry and Bert are good at shunting, but they don't take passengers. Can you see a diesel engine who does take passengers? Daisy! That's a very good idea. Daisy is a diesel and she carries passengers. Daisy can help Toby. There goes Toby with some of the workmen and here's Daisy to take the rest. Another diesel engine and another steam engine are working together. Here's Gordon. His carriages are full of carpenters. He's taking them to repair the engine sheds. But his train is very heavy and the sheds are on the other side of Gordon's Hill. Edward usually helps push Gordon up the hill, but Edward is busy taking supplies. Are there any diesels that could help Gordon? Thomas isn't sure. Which diesels do you think are good at pushing? Do you think Harry and Bert could push Gordon? They've never done it before, but maybe Harry and Bert could push Gordon up Gordon's hill. They've done it. Two more diesel engines working with a steam engine. All the work is getting done. Steam engines and diesel engines work very well together. Well done, Thomas.